Hey guys, today's video is going to be about the updates of the fruit trees that we have in our yard and a little bit about the garden. Hope you guys are doing okay. Let's get started. So over here is basically sweet potato, different kinds. I think there's Georgia sweet potato in here and Japanese sweet potato, the purple ones. Um, right there in the middle, we have ginger. So that's it. That's all we got going on. Um, we literally took out the tomato plants yesterday because they're done producing. Oh, and right here, there is some okra. I didn't have many, but next year I'll have more because I'm going to harvest these seeds and plant them. So that's um, red okra. But that's all that's in here right now. Okay. And next to the garden, there is a 20 gallon grow bag with jalapeno peppers and cayenne peppers. Okay, lots and um, lots and lots of peppers on these and still trying to produce. There go some flowers. So I think in here I have about two jalapeno and two cayenne in this one grow bag. Okay, um, let's go to the back real quick. Um, over here, these are our sugar cane that was recently planted by the one and only G. So, um, they were all in here. They were in here. We have three pots here. And we have a different uh, varieties. Like in each hole, there's like a green... And a yellow type or purple type so yeah that's that all right now let's go back to the front you guys um right here is just some sugar apple and these are the purple ones i'm hoping to at least get one good plant out of these i have three okay plant it from seed so that's that. Three ceilings. Right here is some pineapple heads, small ones that G got from his cousin Aiden. All right. And in back of that is the Choquette avocado. And this is newly purchased. It was purchased as a three gallon and now it's a seven gallon. So G up potted a lot of these to seven gallon. All right, that's the choquette. This is a raw sapote. <laughs> the name is funny, but this was also purchased as a three gallon is now a seven gallon. So this is supposed to be similar to the egg fruit. So, if you look up the egg fruit, you should see raw sapote in the same grouping. All right. This one is just a little bit sweeter, I was told, than the egg fruit. Um, this is a coconut cream mango. Also purchased as a three gallon and now is a seven gallon pot. This one is a purple star apple aka milk fruit aka kaimito Kai <laughs> so it's gotten bigger since the last time i posted it on instagram and that's also a ceiling it's not um grafted and behind it is um Hawaiian Solo Sunset Papaya. 
okay so i got this from etsy as a seedling plant so i'm hoping it survives so far so good um under that is dragon fruit so these again like i said before were here at the house and i'm just trying to salvage them to see if we get any fruit um this one is the Jabba the Kaba, if I'm not jacking that up. Jabba the Kaba tree, um, originally from Brazil. So this is um, what they call also the grape, grape tree or grape um, something. But this is the tag right here. Restini, Restinga. Restinga Plinia Coronata. All right. So this one that I purchased is a dark, um, reddish, dark, dark, like a dark red color grape. It's different ones. Like if you look it up, you'll know. But this is a dark red grape. And they have ones that's purple that look like real grapes okay so that's that behind that is a east indian mango this one this one was bought as a what that was a three gallon too mm -hmm. three gallon and also a pot it to seven um this giant here whoo this grew so much is the melee apple aka jamaican apple bought this as a three gallon from plantogram.com and it grew so much you guys it's impressive it has new growth on it now a lot everywhere impressed growing so fast okay next to that is the marcus pumpkin avocado and that's growing nicely too marcus pumpkin a lot of new growth very pretty love it and just a quick update on the ceilings here this is the Anona Salzmani that I bought as a seedling from Etsy. This is the Sapadilla Excalibur. This is the Seashore Mango Steam. So they all got in maybe an extra three inches long since I purchased them a few months ago. So that's good all right this is a new member as well this is the musa akumi nada that's the um red daca so this is a red banana tree well red banana plant because bananas are not trees they're plants okay so you can see a little red in the leaf there very pretty love it got that from etsy too um it came from puerto rico yeah so this is a sugar loaf pineapple um g told me that these are the ones he ate in jamaica so I snatched up a deal online. They were selling them at toptropicals.com. Buy one, get one free. So I bought two and got two free. So, yeah. The sugar loaf. Um, back here is a quick update on the dragon fruit. So, I don't know if you guys remember when I stuck this in the ground. Well, in the pot, it was just this piece right here, I think. And now it grew all the way up and I cut it off 
and stuck the other piece in another pot. So I don't know, I'm experimenting. I'm trying to see what happened with that. Never grew a dragon fruit. So next to that, wait, no, not that, that's not new. This is the June plum right here next to the sugar loaf. And we have a lot of plums, lots of flowers, lots of plums. We're gonna have to thin this out, right, G? It's too many. Look, more plums over here, more plums. Look at that on this little plant and more still trying to come out right here. <laughs> it's insane, look down here, more. It's like they popping out everywhere. And this is the full extent of the plant right here, right here. Okay, that's the June plum. Um, this is another sugar loaf. This is a mango. This is pineapple pleasure. Now, I heard people say it doesn't taste like pineapple, but we'll see. I mean, everybody taste buds is different. So, I'm hoping it does taste like pineapple. Um... This is also a sugar loaf pineapple. This is a mango. This is a prime chimea or prime chimea. This I researched to be, um, I read that it's better than, um, what's the other one I was gonna get first? I'll put it in the description, guys. This is supposed to be a better version of another one, but I can't remember right now, so I'll put it in the description. So this is, I think, the smallest mango we have to date. It looks like a little two gallon or something. Well, not the pot, just the tree size. Um, this is a sugar loaf. Next to that is a Neelum mango. Very nice. Very nice tree. It's you had tipped these, right? Yeah, I tipped the middle of it. Oh yeah. You could tell. All the new growth is so pretty. It's just like a umbrella effect really pretty oh, let's see let's come down here this is um a new one i just got from one green world this is a haku let's see bolton haku bolton pomegranate so this is from japan and it's a like a dwarf pomegranate in Japan. It's white, it's a white pomegranate. And um, typically I learn when they call things white, it's like a light green, the shell is anyway, it's like green. But for this pomegranate in particular, when you cut it, it's, the seeds are white. They're not red like the wonderful. The seeds are white and it's supposed to be good so i can't wait all right that's the haku button next to that is the old 15 mango pretty look at all the new growth up here I cut the top off of that one. oh okay you had cut the top yeah you can tell a lot of nice growth Okay, 015. Back here is the dramatically developed breadfruit. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Let me stand back. Yeah, this came from Puerto Rico too, guys. Wow. And this grew drastically for the little space of time we had it. Look, it is consistently putting out new leaves like every week non-stop look at how huge it is 
So this one is supposed to be a purple, oh, hit me purple, yellow heart um, breadfruit. The name is on the tag. So this is called a Pucro breadfruit. It's supposed to be really soft and really good and cook easily. So again, a yellow heart breadfruit that's really good and takes little time to cook. All right, so that's the update on the breadfruit. Um, oh, 15. This is the rosy gold, rosy gold mango. Some new growth right here. This is supposed to be naturally a dwarf mango. Um, all the ones I have are um dwarf ish, but this is a true dwarf mango tree. Um, the only thing. The only one I heard is supposed to be really big is the O15, but um, we'll see in the future. But anyway, rosy gold. And just a quick update on the uh, Cha Cha. Newly up potted. You can see it has a lot of new growth. And one coming out there in the middle. A lot of new growth. And you guys should know the history on that already from the last video. Um, behind that is a mango we have from Aiden. from Aiden, your cousin, G. We don't know what it is. Uh, we don't know what it is, but it's growing nice. Yeah, we don't know what it is. He just said it's really good. So I guess that's all matters, right? But... <laughs> Me, typically, I like to know the variety of things. So, I don't know if we'll ever find out, but we'll see. <laughs> um, next to that is just a quick update on this pomegranate. Um, this was in the last video also. I'm trying to find a tag. This is a uh, Parfianca. If I get it the focus. Parfianca pomegranate. So that one is supposed to be good too. Can't wait to taste that. New growth all the time. Very lovely. I would like to espalier this when we um move and settle in. That will be very nice as year with the other one, the um, Haku Baten. It'll look really nice. So that's my plan for that, guys. Um, quick update, too, on this one next to it. This is the sugar apple that we got from Top Tropicals months ago while it was still cold, I think in December. And look at how big it's gotten. Really nice. Looks really nice. And let me show the other one since I'm at it. Because I had two from Top Tropicals. This is huge. This is the bigger one. It's really big. It looks like it needs to go on the ground ASAP. So this tree right here. I think this is the Lassard Sugar Apple. It just says sugar apple, but this is the Lassard sugar apple. This is, um, I believe this is from Thailand. Okay, so that's not the common sugar apple. It's from Thailand. All right, coming back over here. Um, Real quick, too, let me show the um, Jamaican cherry tree. Or, a.k.a um what they call it strawberry tree whatever you want to call it this is it right here lots and lots and lots of berries everywhere ripe ones green ones they're like tucked under so i guess that's good for 
hiding from the birds, right? They're kind of tucked under the leaves. You could barely see them. But it's so big and voluptuous and wide since we got it. Really nice. Um, let's spin around here to the... What is this? Barbados cherry tree. See? Barbados cherry. And I had this one too in an Instagram video recently. So this is... Jamaicans think it's Jamaican cherry tree. It's popular in Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, he says popular in Jamaica. So, and Jamaicans think this is their native tree, but it's from Barbados. So, that's that. It's spread out wide. So, it's a yeah, wide tree. Right. Yes, there's one right there, but it's green. There's two, actually. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's another one right here, too. Yep, so next to that is, I think this is the Super Julie. So Super Julie is supposed to be like a better version of Julie. Um, and it doesn't have the um, disease and stuff that regular Julie has. So, in that aspect, it's supposed to be better. Um, as far as taste, I heard it's good. But people still says regular Julie is better. But we'll see. That's why I got mine. We'll see. We will see. Regular Julie don't produce a lot either. So. It don't, and that's why I didn't want that. So, regular Julie, he said, didn't produce, don't produce as much. So, it... For us, it didn't make sense to buy one. All right, let's get into these. Navel orange. This is a um, navel orange we got from Home Depot? Home Depot. Um, it looks like whitish because I sprayed kaolin clay on it. Kaolin clay with some water. It's supposed to protect it from the sun and bugs. So far, so good for that one. Really nice. Has some new growth back here. That's that. This is the Meyer, the lemon. Meyer lemon improved. You see the tag? Meyer lemon improved. So, what does improve mean, guys? Improve mean, as far as what I read, um, it's supposed to be. I think this one is, is this one has been pollinated with, I think mandarin, mandarin orange. So it's supposed to have a better flavor, a better taste. A lime and orange mix. Yeah, a lime and orange mix. So we'll see. Look at the ladybug. A lot of um, we have blossoms. Oh, here's some on top. You can see us open already. Wow, that's a lot. I think we have to thin that out though. Some of them probably won't make it. Oh, okay. We'll see. Oh, it's some on the back side. Yeah, this tree got attacked by fruit flies recently. So a lot of the new growth started to turn yellow and brown. But I sprayed something on it. Hopefully that works. But we still have fruit nevertheless. Here's two right here. And we have a massive amount of flowers up here. So this is a big plant. Like I have to push it to walk around it's really big tree all right next to that is the uh, ruby ray ruby grapefruit ray ruby grapefruit 
so this has a lot of new growth you can tell it's very light and shiny compared to the old growth that's dark green and dull looking really nice a lot of new growth on this no fruit yet though so we got this one also from home depot and i forgot we got the lemon from home depot too and this one here on the end is our last citrus tangerine this is a honey tangerine mercot is it one on here I saw it yesterday. Oh, here it is. Okay. So here's one right here. That'll be interesting. All of these fruits that's here, I never had. Did you have any of them, G? I had tangerine, but not the same brand. Yeah. And the neighbor fruit orange, but you know, it's just a neighbor fruit orange. Yeah. So, a lot to learn, a lot to taste. Can't wait. <laughs> um... Behind us is um, sour sap. So this one is just a quick update. Let me step back. This is one of the plants that was here when we came into the house. This plant here, up potted into a barrel pot. This is the front side. It grew so big since the last video. Really big. Sour sap. Um, behind that is our pickering. Just a quick update on the pickering. Um, it has a mango on it, guys. Look at that. And G had to kind of stake it was leaning down a lot it's not ready of course really hard still not ready so can't wait for that but it has new growth that's really pretty um what else is new the jackfruit Oh, yeah, and the ackee, too. Aiden gave us this ackee tree. Um, it's very slender, but it was crowded also with other plants, so that's why it's this shape. But we're hoping that it starts to spread out. The head, yeah, the head was cut at the top. Cut it and push up new yeah g cut it way at the top up there and it pushed out a um a limb up there so, so we could get one down here so we'll be good yeah hoping for uh lower limbs um next to that is the orange crush jackfruit this i'm impressed with just like the breadfruit it grew so quickly in no time is so massive right now really nice new growth on top oh look another ladybug a lot of new growth see that a lot of new growth a lot of new growth guys so it's still doing good so that's it for our new tree video slash update on some of the plants here in the garden. And my next video, I'm gonna talk about regular plants that been here. So stay tuned for that video. Bye guys.